I received a message from my uncle, Fatima, do not get out of the house because Taliban are here. And I thought uh, it was a joke. I never thought that Taliban would take over the country so easily. Breaking news where the Taliban is quickly sweeping across Afghanistan and has now effectively taken control of the capital, Kabul. Tensions are rising on the ground as residents face the reality of Taliban rule. My fear was Taliban would come after me at my house and just kill me on spot. Concerns are mounting as reports emerge of restrictions and potential rollbacks on women's rights. For the women and girls of Afghanistan, life is going to look a lot different from here on out. I didn't think that leaving was an option. Who would care about the women national team? فوتبال بازی کردم با خواهرم بود و در پشت حوالی داشتیم اونجا همیشه بازی میکردیم بزرگترین ناروزه ایم است که یک دختر فوتبالیست یک دختر هدفمند هیچ به هیچ چیزی فکر نمیکنم فقط همون فوتبال رو بازی میکنم یعنی آرزوی می بود که در تیم نوجوان من شرکت کنم و خیلی کوشش کردم تا به هدف خود برسم و رسیدم یعنی افتخار به خودم بود و به فامل ما نخورین I love to play football and more importantly I love representing my country in a way that other people wouldn't think of because they show the other side of Afghanistan which is mostly war and injustices people don't get to see the beautiful part which is us playing sports was am fakum unja bari bad hamin ittefaqa ay sadi basurdu milli fakhsh mishe bayraq kishvar tu miyaran bad az surud milli bad khair milli vaqt pesh mishe ma khayli dost daram surud mishe daqiqan ayaqan bas tani man andaz When I used to see girls younger than me playing football, I would be so proud. I am part of a big change in my country. But then I saw all my dreams and all my goals like disappear within a second. The United States has officially announced that the last flight out for U.S. nationals and eligible Afghans will be August 31st. Thousands of Afghans are rushing to the airport, desperate to leave the country. Salam, Farhanda Jan. Sir, daftar muamla shuda wa ami timi na ujawana idhtara kastan zir khatar astan. ما از اونی کسایی که خود دخواهی زندگی میکنن از امیان میخوایم که این امی 25 روز وی تیمی ملی را امرای خانواده شان دخارج ببرن. I was in shock. I knew I had to act immediately, but I had no clue what to do or how to do it. I always followed the news in Afghanistan, and when Kabul fell, my heart really dropped. My parents fled Afghanistan 30 years ago in a similar situation. I saw myself reflected in every young Afghan girl. I knew that they couldn't be left behind. When I opened WhatsApp, I saw a text message from my coach 
and Farkunda was added to group, I had absolutely no idea who she was. But we trusted her anyway because that was our only hope. Salam hamagi farkundastum. Koshish mekunam shu ke shumara az Afghanistan intikal betum. Lufan kule asnadai tana barma az tariq WhatsApp rawan kunen. Wada kadam application degan nay. Okay, tashakar. My life depended on my phone and my privacy. The stakes were extremely high for secure communication. If something was intercepted, whether it be their passports or their IDs, not only would the mission be jeopardized, but everyone's life would be at risk. As the evacuation deadline nears, the chaos outside the Kabul airport is only getting worse. The Taliban firing into crowds as desperate Afghans rush the gates in hopes of getting on one of the last few departing flights. I was finally connected to intelligence officers. I was able to discuss how they were at high risk and why they needed to be evacuated immediately, and they were willing to support me. The escape plan was to get the families to a high school in Kabul. From there, they were supposed to be sent to a military base and airlifted into the Kabul airport. Salam, doctor. Faramush nakinin ke fakat shuma wa ila se azoi famil degeton amroi ton meton a safar kena. Vaksoi ton amada basha amroi non wa au. Wa inshallah ba khair koshish mekinim ke bazudi barayam. It was hope for me and my family to moved to somewhere safer. That kind of gave me the push to move on. I had a lot of money. 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 وقت رفتن از دخترا این موقعیت لطفاً به زودی خدا برسانین و سنسپیت مدرتانم بر ما روان کنین. تشکر. I planned my life in my country and when I found out that this is time for me to leave, I couldn't believe it. خودم طرف مدر بزرگ خود رفتم و بقلش کردم و خیلی گیریان کرد گفت ما خیلی نمیخوایم که شما رو رقمی ببینو میرین ای خدا I left my house I didn't even took a second to look to remember what was things like and yeah just remembering things We rented a taxi, and the car ride was so scary. It was my first time seeing Taliban. Everything was so chaotic. There were gunshots and people screaming. That was the moment that I realized that this is not my home. Like, this is not the place that I used to know. When we got into the location, I saw familiar faces. And as soon as we parked, I just got out of the car and run to my friends and I just hugged them. I never hugged with so much emotions. We knew that we have each other and we can get through this with each other. Pictures speaking to like 15, 16 year old girls, they're the ones that are kind of pushing their parents to get out of the country through a person that they don't know very well. They trusted me blindly, which is not easy to do. Although it was a very big operation and there was so many individuals and groups behind this, ultimately the girls saw me. I was the main point of contact. I was the one communicating with them and they thought that all the plans were simply coming from me. So if anything went wrong, it was Farkunda's fault. 
And I could never really forgive myself for someone's life being in danger or dying because that could have very much been a possibility. We heard this explosion. There was that red light in the sky. حتی موتر یک لرزه ای در خود داد که ما یعنی شور خوردیم که فهمیدم یعنی خیلی یعنی خیلی ترسیده بودیم فکر کردیم که یعنی طالبا خبر شدن و میخواین ما را بکشن I thought that that was it and I was like did I take that risk for nothing کوشش میکنیم امین موقعیت است که شما خدا باید برسانین تشکر It was near airport so it was more dangerous for us فلان ما دم یی میدان پلوی تانک تیل هستیم همه گمی جا جام هستن و تانک تیل جدا نمیتنی خودش تانک تیل است کلا گدمی افتا و اینجا هست We waited there without food, without getting any sleep, struggling finding bathrooms, and just waiting for some update. I would keep asking the intelligence officers, like, what's the next move? How do we get the girls out? But they would tell me, don't worry, everything will be fine. Someone will come pick them up. We kind of had an eye on the airport, and every 10 minutes there was a plane taking off. I was just in the airport, and I said, I'm going to go to the airport. Why don't I go to the airport? I'm going to go to the airport. Every minute that passes by, like, the hope is just kind of disappearing. No, I don't want to go to the airport. استاد دکتران اونجا یک از همه دیگه چهره هایشون آشفته پرژون هر دقیقه ثانیه جان ما در خطر است It became very clear that it was dangerous for them to stay there I knew we had to get them out of that situation, and the only hope was the airport in Kabul, specifically that gate that we had access to. Salam, Hamagil. Yak dar wazastak da pusht sar maidan. Lutfan unja khuda berasanin ba khater azu dar wazah ba khair. Ibrahim as Kishwar. When we got the last location, it was the secret gate. So. It wasn't on the map. It wasn't somewhere that like people knew about it. And you would just guess which road should I take. I had three or four percentage of mobile charge and I planned this percentage is for me to check the location for the last time. This percentage for me to say where am I at this moment, just to give an update to everyone. And the last like percentage is for me to call that person who got there and tell her just talk. What does the place look like exactly? Just say as fast as you can. 